Hello and welcome. Today we've got some batteries from Budget Tool Company Parkside. Uh, these are all faulty. Somebody gave me these to fix, so I don't know if it's cost effective to fix them, but I have tested them and I've marked on them what is wrong with each individual battery. I will certainly test them and show you the testing process and how I established these particular faults within them. If you have a battery that's not going for any reason or you want to see how it's going, you need a multimeter and you need it set to voltage, DC voltage. So before we move on to the bad ones, I have this good one, fully charged 4 amp hour Parkside battery. And I'm going to show you how to test it with the multimeter and how to establish what's wrong. Right, the first test we're carrying out here is again, set the multimeter to DC voltage and put the terminals like this red multimeter terminal into the plus and black into the minus and that should give you somewhere approximating 20 volts so this is right this being a 20 volt battery these batteries operate between 20 17 and 20 easily roughly speaking and that's 1999 that's nearly full voltage uh 20.2 would be sort of full voltage so it's very very near full capacity so for the next test we're still going to use a multimeter but we have to get this open first and these batteries are different than other ones they have like a hexagon screw on them if you're an ordinary yarn key it'll do it but i have these little bits and they're the right size so you could just unscrew them you know So there we are, that's the battery open. And you can lift the battery straight out if you want, like that. And that gives you access to the full length of cells that's in it there. As you can see the 2000 milliamp cells. I have said it before that uh, I think the construction of these, actual build of these is pretty good. They do sell them cheaper than the other brands and I think they can only do that because of the quality of these, these 18650 cells that they use, I think they use a lower quality cell and it's not up to scratch with the usual like, that's a Samsung 20R, that's the equivalent in, uh, it would be in your 4 amp Milwaukee or what would you call it, DeWalt, Makita, that kind of thing, anyway. Um, this is an 18650 cell, all these batteries have them. It's called an 18650 because it's 18 mil across here and it's 65 this way. Um, that's where the 18650 comes from and this is the positive end. It's very distinct and that's the negative end. And you'll be able to see this if you look at the side of the battery. And this will help you to know where the, to put the probes to get the measurement. You'll still get the measurement if you put it on in reverse. Um, you can, this is the positive, you can see that. This is the negative. And we still got our meter set to the DC voltage. If you put this on, for example, the wrong way around, you'll get the voltage. But you'll get a negative voltage. And why I always recommend putting them the right way around when you're measuring. Sometimes if a cell gets real bad, the actual cell can reverse polarity and be showing a negative voltage. And if we pull down the whole voltage of the pack, it can actually take away from the voltage of the other cells if it's real bad. But anyway, we're going to measure these and mark what's on them. And what we're looking for is the voltage, obviously. And we're also looking for the same voltage across the pack. <clears throat> because this is about 19, nearly near 20 volts, it will be, you will get, they'll all be, they'll all be a chargeable voltage, they'll be at real high voltage, near enough full. 4 volts. 4 volts. 4 volts. 4 volts, yeah, 
four volts, you know. So that battery is perfect. And that's what that is what you're looking for. In your parkside battery or any battery, if it's fully charged. So I'm gonna move on to the uh the bad ones and I'm gonna show you why they're bad. On this bad one I wrote need four cells. That means out of the ten cells, four are bad, so two banks of the cells are bad. But I'm gonna show you how I established that. So the screws out again. So now we will take the lid off and we'll do the same thing. We're going to use a sharpie to write the voltage on each bank of cells to show you which is which. So we've got 3.56 there. 3.56. And we've got 3.56. That's a bad bank there. Is that showing not 0.14 of a volt? Okay. And third bank. 3.65. So it's a wee bit out of whack with this one as well. So there's a lot wrong with this. There's a cell and balance as well. As well as bad cells. There's balance problems across the pack of the, the good ones. And that's what I was talking about. You see the way it's showing a negative voltage? That is actually so bad, it's reverse polarity, and it'll be pulling down the voltage. So it's a minus, what was it? Minus 0.05. So that's a quintessential less than nothing. Um, anyway. 3.62 3.625 to be precise so you can see the the problems there with three banks of cells that one's a wee bit out of whack with this one but these two are gone and that's how you establish how you have bad cells I'm going to show you another one as well on this one I've written, cells good, board bad. So I'll get this open and show you. It's out of the case now. It's showing a dumb light all the time. That shouldn't be, that's weird. That's part of a problem I would say. But this one will not charge. But uh, I never even checked the overall voltage. But I'll just run down the banks of cells. That'll tell us everything we need to know. But I did test this about a month ago. That's where I got all that information. 3 3.45. 3.45. 3.45. 3.45. 3.45. Well, so all these banks of cells are 3.45, which I have to admit is a little low. I said the board was bad, but I might be wrong about that. It might actually need a little bit of um, TLC. We'll see what we can do here. We'll put it together. Um, no, put it together that far. And I'm going to try something to see if we can get it to go. I should have shown you this that it's not um, it's not powering at all, not charging. I'll put it together and show you. I'm going to just try this one in the charger just to see what it does. You know, showing the faulty lights. Look. Um, I think what we can do, I'm going to attempt to do, is bring it up, but with the, with the, maybe the B6 charger, just a little bit to see if we can get it to charge. Right, for this process I removed the lid again, but what you do is you're going to the positive terminal which is there, you can see marked there, and you're going to the negative terminal which is there. And what we're going to do is inject a little bit of life back into this battery just to see if it will recover. What can happen with some of these lithium ion batteries, they can uh, fall below chargeable voltage 
and the charger doesn't recognize them so 3.45 is a little low 3.5 would be better or higher so i'm gonna um try this i'll set her to 5s so that's for the five banks of sales and i'm going to just charge her and see if she comes up that'll take a little bit of time and so we'll come back to it and see if we can sort this one that's only been on a minute and a half and it's coped so well so we'll just stop it and check the voltage again now put the lid on and give her a charge to see if she goes it's 17.5 so here we are we'll give her another go and if it doesn't doesn't go now we know we have board failure no we have board failure in that one i was quite correct with my diagnosis earlier on so um all the cells are good but the board is bad that means it needs a new board these ones are the bad cells on them you just need to replace either all the cells or the bad ones depending what your your id on it does um it's debatable whether um whether park side's worth fixing because it's only about 39 pound for one of these and the wee small ones the wee half size ones are only 20 pounds so once something's that cheap is it worth fixing that's the debate you know but um I might actually repair some of these for you on other videos just to show you for educational entertainment purposes on it wouldn't be for a profit or anything so if you like that video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos